Half marathons are an interesting race length and one that personally I really enjoy. Short enough to be able to go hard for it, but long enough that it's not over in an absolute flash. In this video, we're going to talk about how to fuel a half marathon properly. So the next time that you run one, you can smash out a new personal best. So what is up nutrition nerds and welcome back to another video. If you're new here by the way then hey, I'm James, I'm a sport and exercise nutritionist and talk about those things a lot. On to today's topic then and let's talk about everything that you need to consider from a nutrition point of view when it comes to a half marathon. If you've watched my videos before then you might notice some similarities to other nutrition plans for events like a triathlon and you'd be right. The core principles of nutrition are actually quite easy and you can use them for lots of different events and hopefully that's what this channel can help you out with. So if you are new here then let's give you some simple practical advice which you can use and if you are new here by the way then do consider subscribing if you want to stay up to date with all of my videos that I release on all sorts of nutrition topics. The first thing to mention is why it's actually important to consider nutrition when it comes to a half marathon. When it comes to an event like a half marathon your body will be relying predominantly on carbohydrates for a source of energy rather than another energy source like fat. That means we've got to focus on carbs as a priority and that brings us on to our first tip. At a max we've got about nine worth of stored carbohydrates to use as energy when we race but that's only if our stores are fully topped up before we start. So my advice would be to carbohydrate load before your race. Now, carb loading doesn't just mean eating a massive bowl of pasta the night before your half marathon. That's too late and it won't really do that much apart from probably make you feel a little bit gross before you go to sleep and maybe even mean that you don't really sleep. So the aim of carbohydrate loading is to eat about 10 grams of carbohydrates per kilogram of body weight in at least the day before your race, preferably about 36 to 48 hours before you race. If you've never carb loaded before then you might be surprised about the amount of food that you actually have to eat because it's quite a lot. But it is worth doing to maximize your performance. I have done a video specifically on carb loading by the way so if you haven't seen that then I'd encourage you to go and watch it. I go through the do's and don'ts and give you some practical advice for you for carb loading. So that's carb loading out of the way. The next thing to consider is breakfast. You want a carbohydrate based breakfast a couple of hours before you race and you want a breakfast that's low in fat and fiber and one that you've practiced before. Suitable things here might be some white bread with jam or honey, granola or oats or perhaps something like rice pudding. Now this breakfast doesn't have to be particularly large. Your aim here is just to top up your carbohydrate stores and settle your tummy before you race not eat loads and loads. Because remember you've carbohydrate loaded properly, if you do try to eat loads before your race, you'll just end up with gastrointestinal discomfort and we don't want that. Along with your breakfast, you should have some fluid as well. This is pretty personal depending on what you can tolerate, but I usually go for about 500 mils of fluid. I either have water with a bit of squash and about one gram of table salt, or I put an electrolyte tablet in my drink. So that's the pre-race nutrition side of things sorted. So let's talk about nutrition during your half marathon. So what you need to consume during your race depends on your goal time. So we'll split it up into time periods so that you can use this yourself. You don't need to follow these numbers exactly by the way. Just a guide and it's important to say make sure you practice to make sure that you can tolerate what you're going to use on the day. If your goal time is under 75 minutes, then realistically the only thing that you can do which is likely to improve your performance is using a carbohydrate mouth rinse. This is essentially swilling a carbohydrate based drink around your mouth and this helps to reduce the perception of fatigue and improve your performance. If there are aid stations with a carbohydrate based drink then this could be a great strategy for you. You simply take a swig, swill it around your mouth for 5 or 10 seconds and then depending on your preference you can either swallow it or spit it out. It's worth practicing this as well by the way especially at your race pace just to make sure that it doesn't ruin your concentration or your breathing patterns and actually negatively impact your performance as a result. If your goal time is between 75 to 120 minutes so up to about two hours 
then consuming carbohydrates during your half marathon is a good idea. The recommendation is about 30 grams of carbohydrates per hour, and you should be able to do this quite comfortably by using sports drinks, gels, or a soft food like Jelly Babies. My personal preference is a gel because you don't have to chew it and then you don't get that claggy sensation of trying to chew while you're running. I find it just works a lot easier and you can be done and dusted in a couple of seconds. Any of the reputable sports gels will usually contain between 20 and 40 grams of carbohydrates, so that should be perfect. If your goal time is between 120 to 150 minutes, then the advice is up to about 60 grams of carbohydrates per hour. And if your goal time is above 150 minutes, then the advice is between 60 to 90 grams of carbohydrates per hour. Again, gels or simple foods here work well. Personally, I would suggest staying away from any solid foods like bars or sandwiches when you're running a half marathon. These sorts of solid foods are much more likely to cause tummy upset when you're running, so that's the reason I don't suggest them during a half marathon. And that's it from a food side of things, so let's move on to fluid and hydration during your half marathon. If you do have any questions on the food side of things, by the way, then just let me know in the comments section and I'll get back to you. And if you are finding this video useful, by the way, and you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up and considered subscribing to this channel. So, hydration. Do you need to be taking fluid with you or stopping at every aid station to drink? Well, the answer is probably no. I've talked about this in previous videos, but if your event is under two hours in duration, then it's unlikely that dehydration will negatively impact your performance. This obviously does depend on things like climate and conditions, but in general, hydration during a half marathon is not a top priority. If your goal time is longer than two hours, then hydration does become more important. For a half marathon, drinking to thirst is a reasonable strategy. It's a short enough event that, as I mentioned, hydration is not your top priority. But if you're getting thirsty, well, listen to your body and drink. Or if you just feel more comfortable doing it, then have a swig, swirl some water around your mouth just to feel better. I would always advise drinking fluid with sodium or salt in it because you lose sodium and water when you sweat. And so it's important to replace both. If you're interested in the actual numbers, by the way, the aim is for a concentration equivalent of 500 milligrams of sodium in one liter of water. You should be able to find out these concentrations if you look on the packets of whatever a supplement you're using, like an electrolyte tablet. Again, if you are interested in this topic, then I have done a full video on this for you, which I've linked at the top of the screen. So that brings us to the end of today's video. So we've talked about carb loading in the days before your race. We've talked about breakfast, nutrition based on your goal time and hydration. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it useful. I'd love to know if you've got a half marathon coming up. Is it your first one or have you done loads and you're aiming for a personal best? Let me know in the comments. I usually do half marathon sometime in January and I really enjoy it because it gives me some motivation to train over the winter and something to look forward to. Does anyone else find that they need some sort of challenge or motivation over the winter or is it just me? If you haven't already, then I would really appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up and press subscribe to stay up to date with all of the Remember to press that notification icon to get an alert when I do release a new video. And remember that subscribing is free. And I will catch you next time. See ya.